be disrespectful phone. and it's orderly. You came to me. I'm responding to your disturbance. I don't have to get off my phone. That's why if it was illegal, you'd arrest me. So leave me alone. You guys are dealing with the wrong guy. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's video was submitted by Charles, who in early June of 2022 joined his elderly father on a trip to the Social Security office in Plantation, Florida, while waiting for his father's number to be called for assistance. His father answered a phone call and was surrounded by two security guards and an officer of the Department of Homeland Security. This is the point that Charles begins to film. Be not disrespect that you would be disrespectful phone. and it's orderly you, you're, you're not listening i don't have to listen to you you're on your phone i don't have to listen to you you can't i'm you just can't sitting in a public phone. place doing my thing getting my public services and you're disturbing my peace leave me alone i've asked you a lot of times of no you came to me you. i'm responding to your disturbance i asked you to get off your phone and you did not i don't have to get off my phone that's so why if it was illegal you'd arrest me so leave me alone you can't refuse services did you take a picture of me? Because I'm going to for you that. You just took a picture of me? What was your name? Valencia. Valencia, okay. You guys are dealing with the wrong guy. Miss Valencia, I'm going to have for you the question with every picture in that phone. We wanted to do this the easy way. There's no Tom. easy way. Leave me alone Tom. is the easy way. So, SSA has said they're not going to see you today. So, you no longer have business here. We just asked you to kindly get off of your phone, and you refused to do so. There you don't have the right to tell me to get off my phone. You're drawing the attention of the people around you. You drew the attention, not me. Okay, sir. So I'm going to kindly ask you, let's depart the facility, and you can come back on another day. Perhaps no, thank you. you. I'm here now, and I'm going to take care. I'm not, gonna, I'm not giving up my right to be here. You will not be seen today, so you no longer have business. Do you have an employee number? No, sir. Ms. And you're the... Supervisor? Supervisor? I'll be forward requesting everything on that phone that you filmed me too. So you were here to help this gentleman today, correct? I'm not going to discuss my business with you. I have, I'm not obligated to discuss anything with you. Leave me alone. Uh, so if, if you need assistance or you're trying to get someone assistance, I just told you I don't have any obligation to speak to you. Why do you keep talking to me? Because it's my job to ensure. The no, it's not. There's it's not, no one's here being disability. unsafe. No one's complained or anything to you. No one's called on you. You came here on your own accord. Leave me alone. Because you're I've disabled. asked you a hundred times to so leave me alone. I'm not disrupting anyone. You came to me. Listen. Oh, this is I'm not, not listening to you. Anymore. Let me be. So we're going to escort you out. Let me be. You will Let be me be. The you guys are looking. No, business, you, I'm, okay? I'm already going to file a complaint on you. That, that's okay. That's right. Leave me alone. I didn't know what. I came in here to have some service, and you guys are all over me for no reason. Leave me alone. I'm waiting for my turn, and we're going to be on our way when we're done. There's nothing wrong with you that. You will not be seen here today, sir. That's not. Yeah, that's not up to you to do. And if and if you if you this, if you refuse services to him, I will place a complaint on you, and you're gonna you're gonna you will be reprimanded. Okay. If I were you, I'd let it be. Let us be. You, listen, you've we're not been doing been anything to anyone. I don't have to turn my phone off. My mask is on. You're lucky I have my mask on because I have a medical condition. I shouldn't have a mask on my face. Okay, then you can exit the building if you do not wait I can sit here and phone. I can also sit here as well and wait That's to be served. And, and I can sit here until you the, guys are ready to lock the door if I want. It's a public place. It's a publicly accessible. Let me be. You're telling me to wear a mask when you're filming me right now wearing a mask. Tell me where to mask. You make no sense. You're making your mask. I don't, you can ask all you want. I can politely refuse. Exactly. No signs are getting. There's no consequences for me not for using my phone. You cannot use your phone when you're in this. Please let me be. Let me be on my own in a public place to be free as a man to get my public services. You're refusing services. We'll see when the number comes up and the, the services are refused. You will be held accountable. Just give up and leave. Just you know, let go of your ego. It's very simple. I'll let it go if you let it go. I'm just sitting here and you guys are approaching me for no reason. Tell me I can't use my own phone? Who are you? In 2010, the Department of Homeland Security issued an operational readiness order to address photography and videotaping federal facilities. The purpose was to address the public's legal right to film the exterior of federal buildings. This was then expanded to include publicly accessible federal facility building entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, and auditoriums. Since that bulletin, there has been a massive increase in individuals exercising their First Amendment protected rights. 
In 2018, Department of Homeland Security released a new readiness order to reiterate to its officers that they were to maintain security to the facility without adversely impacting the public's right to film. Some secure areas are not allowed to be recorded, but generally, filming in the lobby of the Social Security office as Charles is doing is lawful. But even if it wasn't and the officer here is correct, taxpayers fund the building and the public servants' wages, and I have still yet to hear a decent argument to challenge your right to record your interactions with the servants providing your services that you are forced to pay for. The DHS officer with a badge number 1454 now tries to convince the Social Security Office employees to refuse service to the men, all because they are exercising their rights. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, sir. All right, bye. So if you want to sit and you understand that you won't be serviced today, you can sit here until you walk up the doors. I told you. That told you. you will be the next today. step is you refuse services, listen, you'll be, I'm not listening listen to you. You are going to be in trouble for not providing for services to a public building, just so you know. And that phone's going to be for your request. You're going to lose custody of that if phone for a week. Doors, that's fine. Mm -hmm. still not so you can sit here until we try to lock up and then we'll ask Just like time. I told her. Okay. I know the rules. <laughs> Alright, I'll be here on step. Thank you. Thank you. I'll give you the event number here shortly. Thank you. Alright. Eventually the men's number is called and they are served. Afterwards, Charles records as they exit the building. That's a good public servant for opening the door for me. Thank you very much. Have a good day, guys. You do the same. Bye-bye. You. You'll be hearing some superiors about me. A big thanks to Charles for sending me this video. His channel will be linked below, along with a link to the 2018 DHS Operational Readiness Order. If you head over to Charles's channel, be sure to let him know I sent you. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content, and remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content, and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel, and get a slick Lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.